An Iranian military boat, weapons manned and ready, confronts an American destroyer in the Persian Gulf. A U.S. official tells CNN the Iranian vessel came within a thousand yards of the USS Mahan this week. The Americans fired a warning flare, but the Iranian fast attack boat kept moving aggressively, forcing the Mahan to alter its course. That is a very dangerous incident, and part of that has to do with the fact that the U.S. Navy vessel doesn't know the intentions of what the Iranian vessel is up to. They, they don't know what the Iranian vessel is going to do. It's one of several dangerous episodes recently between Iranian vessels and American ships in the Persian Gulf. U.S. officials say there have been dozens of incidents where the Iranians, often piloting armed, fast-attack speedboats, have acted unprofessionally. Unsafe, meaning that they put themselves or they potentially put our vessel and, and our crews at, at, uh, at risk. Analysts say Iran's even started to deploy so-called suicide boats. Pilotless vessels packed with explosives operated by remote control, drones on the water. One struck a Saudi ship this year, and analysts say fighters in Yemen probably got it from Iran. They could target American ships. The suicide boats pose a particularly potent threat in the Persian Gulf because of the confined operating space. Um, these are these boats. They're small, but they're larger than anti-ship cruise missile. They pack a lot of explosives. So if they can if they can get through a ship's security cordon, they could cause a lot of damage. This week, Saudi officials say they disabled and then detonated a remote control speedboat full of explosives that was headed for an oil platform. In the Persian Gulf, many of the provocations don't come from Iran's regular navy. Experts say they're often commanded by Admiral Ali Fadavi head of the Revolutionary Guard Corps' Navy, known for being aggressive. The Iranians even built a mock-up of a U.S. carrier to practice blowing it up. The Iranians are very active right now in Iraq, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Yemen, and according to their rhetoric, increasingly they're looking towards Bahrain, which is where the United States um, maintains its fifth fleet. So the Iranians are on the march, and it's, they're almost becoming a colonial power in the region. Now, analysts say if there is a military escalation with Iran and the U.S., one of the biggest worries is that Iran might strike at the U.S. asymmetrically, using a terror group or one of its other proxy forces to launch an attack on American interests in the Middle East or elsewhere.